folks, Dr. Robert Branton here with some more nutrition advice. Now I wanted to do a series of videos on um, mineral monotherapy uh, in order to be able to help those people with uh, mood disorders and uh, with problems with their mental health because there are a number of different minerals that are effective in isolation given as a monotherapy um, for treating um, uh, mood disorders and uh, for stabilizing mental health and I've already done one video and I did a video uh, the other day that was on the use of zinc uh, in this role now I wanted to follow up that video by doing a video on chromium because chromium is also very useful in monotherapy uh, at treating uh, mood disorders uh, and uh, in particular it's, it appears to be very effective at stabilizing uh, mild to moderate depression and it also appears to have some effects against anxiety. Now the first, th first thing to say about chromium is that nobody knows exactly how chromium functions in the body even in its general role as uh, 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 when it, pl it plays a role in the function of insulin uh, it's not exactly clear what chromium what role chromium is playing it's just known that chromium is somehow able to potentiate the effects of insulin and if you have a deficiency of chromium in the diet what is effectively happening is you are developing insulin resistance because you are missing the cofactor chromium which is required for um, the recognition of, of uh, insulin by the cell. Uh, as your levels of chromium in the diet drop and your chromium status becomes uh, poorer what, what happens is you become more insulin insensitive and you develop glucose intolerance uh, and that is really uh, a pathway towards type 2 diabetes and there's a lot of evidence from animal studies that chromium is required uh, to prevent type 2 diabetes. So one of the theories is that type 2 diabetes could be a chromium deficiency. Um, that's not provable in humans, it's not even provable in animals, but there is evidence to suggest that. There are other factors that may be involved, but there is certainly evidence from animal studies that if you deprive them of chromium, uh, you can uh, induce this, in, this glucose intolerance and then this uh, leads to the development of type 2 diabetes. So we know that chromium is required for the function of insulin and that gives us a clue as to how chromium may actually be able to help um, with depression and anxiety. To be able to understand how chromium is effective in this role uh, you really have to understand how uh, insulin uh, functions in the brain and again this role of insulin in the brain and how it relates to mental health is not fully understood but what, what is understood, and I've talked about this in some of my other videos, including um, one on the tryptophan paradox, is that insulin is required for tryptophan to get into the brain. And how this works is quite clever. It's, um, it, it, it's, 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 not, um, it's not logical, but uh, when, you, when you understand the science, it appears to be uh, fairly straightforward, but it's almost the opposite of what you would think. You would think that if you want to increase tryptophan concentrations in the blood and tryptophan concentrations in the brain taking dietary tryptophan would be the best way of doing that but the paradox is that actually it's not the best way of doing that the best way of getting tryptophan into the brain is to eat a high carbohydrate meal um, that increases tryptophan flow into the brain pa pa the passage of tryptophan across the large neutral amino acid transporter and that tryptophan is then converted um, some of it is converted to serotonin in the brain and then some of it can ultimately be converted to melatonin which is another um, another product of the tryptophan in the brain. Um, so that's that's the paradox. Taking tryptophan is not the best way of getting tryptophan uh, into the brain and I have mentioned this in some of my other videos. Um, now insulin plays a role in uh, in this uh, in this um, transport of insulin in, uh, transport of tryptophan into the brain because what effectively happens when you eat a high carbohydrate meal is that you release insulin into the blood. Now the function of insulin is to pass the glucose that is in the blood into the cells. High glucose levels uh, in the blood are dangerous just as low blood glucose levels are and the body wants to maintain a homeostatic uh, range of, of its blood glucose levels. So if you eat a high carbohydrate meal, that carbohydrate will be broken down into glucose. That glucose will raise blood glucose levels and that will be damaging uh, to the body. So the body wants to push that glucose into the cells where it can be used either to synthesize fatty acids or it could be used as an energy source, but it needs to get it out of the blood and into the cells. And insulin is the hormone that is used to do that. It's like the key that unlocks the cells. It, 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 it causes glucose 
glucose receptors to come to the surface of the cells and that allows the glucose to be transported into the cells which in turn lowers blood glucose levels back to their normal range. That's the function of insulin in terms of blood glucose and chromium is required for that to happen. If you have a chromium deficiency that uh, is not able to happen. Now one of the other functions of insulin is also to pass amino acids into the cells uh, and in particular it is very good and very effective at passing the branch chain amino acids into the cells, uh, particularly uh, muscle cells because muscle cells require branch chain amino acids in high amounts to be able to remodel themselves. The branch chain amino acids make up a large proportion of the amino acids in skeletal muscle and so branch chain amino acids are also passed into cells, particularly muscle cells by the action of insulin. Now the reason that this helps tryptophan get into the brain is because the branch chain amino acids also use the same transporter, the large neutral amino acid transporter, to pass into the brain. So if you remove the branch chain amino acids from the blood, uh, the relative amount of branch chain amino acids in the blood to the uh, uh, and in comparison to the amount of tryptophan, so you remove some of the branch chain amino acids, they go into the cells, therefore the amount of branch chain amino acids in the blood has fallen and therefore the relative amount of um, tryptophan in the blood uh, is higher. Uh, and this really this, this allows the, the tryptophan to pass into the brain because there's less competition for the transporter and this means that more, tri more tryptophan gets into the brain. The, the, the end product of this is that um, that tryptophan is then able to be synthesized into serotonin and serotonin is possibly one of the monoamine hormones uh, neurotransmitters in the brain that is required for your mood and to, to, if you there is a lot of evidence that low levels of serotonin are what may um, be a contributory factor to low mood and anxiety uh, and many of the um, many of the uh, pharmaceutical drugs that are given to treat mood are uh, one of their modes of action may be to raise levels of serotonin in the brain, so particular parts of the brain, partic particularly the hippocampus and uh, the cortex appears to be affected by uh, changes to, to neurotransmitter levels. So this is the function of insulin in terms of um, maintaining your mood and or in order for this to be able to happen, in order for be able uh, to be able to have high amounts of tryptophan in the brain, you have to obviously have a, an, an effective um, uh, insulin system. If your insulin system is not functioning properly, uh, what happens is that the, the blood glucose levels aren't lowered because the insulin isn't allowing it to pass into the cells, but also you're not able to pass some, so, uh, the branch chain amino acids into the cells as well, and therefore the, the levels of branch chain amino acids in the blood remain relatively high, and this adds competition for the amount of um, tryptophan that can get into the brain. So this is really the mechanism that is thought to be responsible for the efficiency, uh, the effect of uh, chromium as a, a, a mood elevating substance. Um, there have been a number of studies that have looked at chromium, particularly in monotherapy and case studies. Um, and in some cases, the amount of chromium that is given is quite small. I mean, 100 micrograms is not a great amount of chromium. Most tablets that you can get containing chromium are usually about 200 micrograms. So it's, it's less than a typical tablet that you buy from a shop. Some of the um, studies have, have, have used higher amounts, up to 1,000 micrograms. Um, but it, even that is within the range of safety. Chromium is uh, in the forms that you could take it in a dietary supplement uh, is very safe. Uh, at those kind of uh, those kind of doses, and these kind of these kind of um, uh, amounts of chromium that have been given to people with mild to moderate depression and with anxiety have shown very effective uh, treatment of those conditions. Uh, and again, I will stress it's not fully understood how the chromium works. There may be other mechanisms other than the insulin. It may be insulin independent mechanisms in the brain. Chromium may, for example, pass into the brain or it may be used in some way um, to be able to change the number of receptors. It's, it's really not known, but it is known, it has been observed that this chromium monotherapy is very effective. Uh, and this is unusual for nutrients, and, and this is what I said uh, really on the video about zinc. It's unusual that, the, uh, that, that, that um, minerals would have such a, a rapid effect, and these effects are very quick. They're, they're drug-like, they're within a few hours of taking the, the, the mineral. If you uh, take somebody with um, mild to moderate depression, uh, in the, if you look at the people in the case studies that have been given these, uh, these levels of chromium, uh, they're given the chromium and their response uh, is very rapid, in, in many cases more rapid than you would expect from pharmaceutical therapy. 
so these are these appear to be working in a drug like way and again i said with the with the zinc video it's it's not clear how zinc actually is able to affect um the brain there are a number of uh, you know of theories but again it's this uh, very strange effect that is uh, it, because it's so rapid now if chromium was able to potentiate the effects of insulin you would expect the the uh, response um, to be to be fairly rapid you know you would expect that once the chromium had been taken and chromium does appear to 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 to, to work in a, in a in a sort of drug like way with insulin um once you take a chromium tablet it, it really appears to be uh, an instantaneous effect that synergy with it ins with insulin it doesn't require the chromium to build up in your tissues uh, once the chromium is is in high enough concentrations in the blood it appears to have this effect so that makes sense with chromium but it's not actually clear how zinc works but again i will stress that there is no known mechanism but there is good observation uh, that this works so what could you do if you um if you know perhaps if you wanted to if you have mild to moderate depression you had uh, you know low levels of anxiety like the generalized uh, anxiety uh, disorder gad if you had those types of mood disorders and you know you were looking to treat yourself obviously the first thing i'd recommend is to eat a very high quality diet high in plant foods high in antioxidants remove sugar from your diet remove all of the other toxins like uh, trans fatty acids hydrogenated fats try and eat a high plant food high quality diet try and get good levels of protein try and reduce your um, intake of refined starches so you're eating a a more balanced diet a way move away from the traditional western diet which is clearly and has been evidenced to be a causative factor uh, at least a contributory factor in the development of mood disorders the second main thing that you should do is remove uh, any extraneous sources of stress anything that you can any stress that is affecting you will have a detrimental effect on your on your mood and your mental state so it's very important that you remove, remove any stress in your life i know that's not always possible but trying to minimize the stress or trying to find coping mechanisms is very important and then on top of that once you've done those basic things you can then start to look at these you know these these ways of treating uh, the, the 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 mood disorder from a from a from a, a you know a supplement or a nutrient point of view and many people you know many people if you look you know you go on the internet and you look at these types of videos are very interested in things like tryptophan they're very interested in things like l-theanine but i don't see so many videos on using minerals as monotherapies and there is very you know i will we'll put the um the studies that i've you know some of the studies that illustrate how effective these these compounds are i put some papers in the um the video for the zinc so if you haven't seen that from last week have a look at that uh, video on zinc and and see see you know read the paper and see how effective the zinc was i will do the same for chromium i will put a, cro I'll put a chromium paper in the comments box below this video so that you can have a look yourself and see how effective um, you know these uh, these studies are but generally uh, you know when this has been tried and it's been tried in uh, you know by psychiatrists who are, who are uh, dealing with uh, people who have you know depression by bipolar disorder all sorts of different types of depression the chromium does appear to be highly effective and that is you know something that is it shouldn't really be um dismissed um that you know these 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 compounds are very safe zinc is very safe as long as you take it within the you know the recommended amounts chromium is a, has a wider safety margin it is certainly safe up to you know reasonably high uh, you know intakes the toxicity of chromium is, doesn't become apparent until you take very very large amounts of it um and it's one of those minerals that again zinc chromium and some of the other minerals that i want to talk about in monotherapy they're the, they're the same minerals that keep co cropping up um, as being deficient in the western diet and I've, I've you know put this link together is it these deficiencies in these minerals that is contributing to this very um you know this epidemic of mood disorders that we're currently experiencing in in, in western nations it, it appears that you know everybody's developing mood disorders certainly that will come down to the stress that we're all under there's a it's a very high stress environment at the moment competition for jobs competition for housing um but you know a lot of people are eating a very poor quality diet and that diet the western diet has been shown time and time again to be deficient in these minerals and chromium is one of those minerals that is missing and this is why so many people um, find it hard to lose weight because they're chromium deficient their insulin system isn't working and if that insulin system isn't working enough tryptophan if it's not getting into the brain that's going to um, affect the synthesis of serotonin so chromium is really worth looking at um, it's a very cheap supplement as is zinc um, it's it's available 
you know all health food sh shops it's available even in you know really in supermarkets and it's, it's kind of very widely available it's used often as a is marketed often often as a weight loss supplement but really i think it's um you know it's very underrated in terms of its ability to cause uh, improvements in general health and one of those improvements is through the improvement in your mental health so i hope you found that interesting as always eat well stay healthy and protect yourself and i will see you soon for another video take care Thank <laughs> you.